Ever pondered the magic behind the machines that make our lives easier? How do these intricate pieces of engineering withstand the test of time and stress? The answer lies in the heart of engineering, machine design. Machine design, a complex yet fascinating field, involves the creation of new machines and systems based on specified design parameters. It combines the principles of physics, material science and engineering to create functional and efficient machines. Let's start by exploring design for static and dynamic loading. In the realm of machine design, every machine experiences two types of load, static and dynamic. Static load is a constant load that remains unchanged over time, like the weight of a bridge. Dynamic load, on the other hand, varies with time, such as the forces experienced by a car suspension system. The design of a machine must account for both types of loads to ensure stability and durability. Next, we delve into failure theories. These theories predict the conditions under which a material or a structure will fail. For example, the maximum shear stress theory predicts failure when the maximum shear stress in a material exceeds the shear stress at yield in a simple tension test. Understanding these theories is crucial in preventing catastrophic machine failures. Fatigue strength and the SN diagram play a pivotal role in machine design. Fatigue strength is the highest stress that a material can withstand for a given number of cycles without breaking. The SN diagram, also known as the Wohler curve, plots the number of cycles of stress a material can endure before failure. This information is invaluable in determining the lifespan of a machine part. The design of machine elements such as bolted, riveted, and welded joints is another key aspect of machine design. Each type of joint has its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Bolted joints are easy to assemble and disassemble, but can loosen under vibration. Riveted joints are permanent and strong, but require more labor for assembly. Welded joints provide high strength and rigidity, but are difficult to disassemble. Shafts and gears are the backbone of many machines, transmitting power from one part to another. The design of these elements must consider factors such as material, size, shape, and loading conditions to ensure efficient power transmission. Rolling and sliding contact bearings reduce friction between machine parts. The design of these bearings must account for load capacity, speed, lubrication, and temperature to ensure smooth and efficient operation. Brakes and clutches are crucial control elements in machines. The design of these elements must provide reliable and precise control while enduring high stress and temperature. Springs store and release energy in machines. The design of springs must consider factors such as material, size, shape, and loading conditions to ensure efficient energy storage and release. In summary, machine design is a meticulous process that involves the careful consideration of static and dynamic loading, failure theories, fatigue strength, and the design of various machine elements. Every aspect, from the selection of materials to the determination of shapes and sizes, plays a crucial role in creating efficient, reliable, and durable machines. It's a fascinating blend of science and creativity that brings our mechanical world to life.